Hello everybody and welcome once again to Running Red, that hardcore questing mod pack from Gideon Seymour. As you can see, I'm not actually at my base. In fact, I've just been mining. I dug my way out because I'm always getting lost in those caves. Now I'm just making my way back to base. And this particular thing, it's... I'm in a dream. So in the dream in Running Red, we're in, a, in the sort of real world. I'm just kind of, There's my base now. As you can see, some melons I've got some pumpkins too actually I'll quickly get those my food reserves are going a bit low due to uh, having um, been down those mines and having to fight a few mobs and other things and here we are I've planted some all sorts of bits and pieces pumpkins barley I haven't found any carrots yet Belladonna, and here's the base, the front door. I've got some wispy cotton growing outside, and inside we've got a few other things. So you'll see here I've got the usual machines, the blood dynamo, which I've turned off because I'm not getting that much blood, except for what I do to myself. A cyclic assembler, which I will connect to the blood supply, but later on, I probably don't need it really. A sawmill, well that's always useful for chopping up wood. Metallurgic infuser, that I've been using to make bronze. This is Paxlos made out of bronze. Uh, and steel as well I've been making. Here we have the the usual um, pulverizer, very useful piece of equipment. Actually what I'm short of is iron, so let's get some of this made. And that will go come out at the top here. And here we have the redstone furnace. The redstone furnace is actually producing charcoal. The charcoal is then getting fed into this heat generator from mechani mechanism. And that's actually quite a reasonably efficient process. So taking it out of the side of here, going in there. And on this wall here I've got the cyclic assembler with water in so I can make clay and rubber. But I think I'm going to have to make some more rubber. We'll show you why in a minute. Just wait for those trees to be cut down. And here's the Ignis extruder, of course, which uh, I'll be making stone. And that stone's going into this chest. Here I've got a chest of food and sort of things like that. So I can get rid of some of these. I've got some more bits and pieces. I'll put those up there as well. Where do I keep the slime walls? probably in that chest too but let's have a look in here here's my bits and pieces and I've actually got some stuff in here real some more real um some track from Minecraft so it's Railcraft actually but it's Minecraft I've got some creosote I've got oh, two bottles of creosote now sort that some flint some charcoal I've actually got some I don't really want charcoal in there that can go in the other place and in here I've got my usual things that are slime balls right in here, good, and gunpowder, and bones are not in there, but bones are still useful. And here I have my sort of ores and wood and things like that. Gravel, flint, I think I've got flint in there, coal I've got in there, the ores in there, some serratus quartz. It's a bit odd going back to doing normal Minecraft stuff after having spent so much time in the void. It really is a strange feeling. So where did I put my wood? I think it can go in here. Yes, it can. And some dirt. Let's go to the dirt. Another stack of dirt. I'll sort this just out. You see, I've got some lapis lazuli and some redstone. Lots of a reasonable amount of gold, lead, silver, copper. Osmian ore. Osmian ore is actually really good in this part of the quest. Well, there's no more quest now because I've finished all, haven't I? And I found 18 diamonds and I've got plenty of redstone, still some here and some lapis lazuli here as well. So it's my making chest. So in here we've got that, I think. And what you can hear is wind. And actually, let's go and have a look outside. Just we've got some magic wood and some bits and pieces here. In fact, I'm going to put these on because my leggings broke when I was down in the mine fighting a few mobs and here I have a, har a harvester 
let's harvest has actually got the silver upgrade so that basically covers quite a decent area and over here I've got this huge mob spawner but not very many mobs in it so let's have a look oh wrong sword I want the other one but to go and get it and here's the planter and in the planter I've basically just turned off every all spaces except for these two and this has got the increased radius three so you'll see this is why there's there's a block of nine here and a block of nine there and in the middle is a spare patch of nine it goes again and this is actually being powered by this windmill up here and that's another mechanism generator and then the power's going down through here underneath the ground comes up of course for the harvester goes down again for the planter and right at the bottom here we've got a sludge boiler as you can see the usual stuff came from the sludge boiler plenty of plenty of clay and lot, actually lots of things coming from here quite a lot of sand too that's actually quite useful and at the back I've got a few animals penned in I haven't got any carrots yet so I'm not doing much with the pigs I've got quite a few cows and I've four sheep. I suppose it's time to breed those again. I'll do that another time. So we've got some mandrake, which is ready to be done. And we've got some berries in here, so I can pick the berries and eat those. Don't give you much energy or power or whatever. In fact, almost nothing. Like a half of, or even a quarter of a, of a sort of help, uh, food point. Now, what was I doing? I was getting the other kni the knife, wasn't I? Which is actually up here. And in here I've got... It's actually quite a large area. It's actually 21 by 21. Oh, actually, a few mobs have got that which is good to the wrong one try again this way what I'm hoping to do is get a carrot get quite a bit of gunpowder of course in the dream world which is where we are at the moment what you don't have is any um, endermen Oops. a spider up there I was just going to get the spider I can't really see it and the spider up there and of course this bow is not enchanted so it takes more than one hit to get the spiders but I'm working on that as well right they've all gone and in fact there are just uh, a few conveyor belts here just to, just to get the mobs to the into the hole so to speak right so that's a quick introduction of what's happening on the base and in fact because I'm standing here and I've got my signal of the green grove that's actually also interesting if I put it on you'll see the trees grow very fast but if I look at the using the divination signal what we actually got, we've got 10 million life essence, which is amazing. It's actually coming from the, the non dream world. I've got some yellow bits, so let's put a torch up here. Using a lot of torches when you go mining. Okay. So, what I'd like to do is to make some more witchery stuff. So, I need to make the altar first of all. And what I was doing here is, yes, that's the witch's oven. We need to do that one as well. So I've got plenty of iron now. Some ferrous metal from the pulverizer. Um, so I need to cook that. Let's put those in here for the time being. And at the bottom we've got some coal. We've got some coal in there. Five. Probably not enough, but let's take this charcoal. Can't put that in yet because there's still coal in. In fact, let's take the, put the charcoal in. Put the coal up here. 
makes a nice stack. Some more bones, let's get rid of those. I probably need to make another red, a second redstone furnace because the uh, rotting flesh is a good way to turn that into um, get rid of this as well. Turn that into leather. That works in, in in the dream world as well. So that's pretty good. Some string and some sp a spider eye, a tree sapling. The string I think I'm keeping in here. Maybe not. Ah, oh, string will be in the other one. That's the parts bit. Yes. Gunpowder and clay. Good. Get that quick sort. Plenty of feathers are being eating quite a lot of chicken as well. Right. So I needed iron ingots and I've run out. So in this chest here is where this stuff comes out. And I think this was the oven, wasn't it? So I just need to put these iron ingots around here. Now I shall now get my witch's oven. And of course I should make some funnels too. Fume funnel. A filtered fume funnel. Oh, that's with us. A fume... F okay. A glowstone. Bucket of lava. Oh, blocks of iron. Bucket of lava is possible. It's from the same one as well. So we really want two of these. So glowstone we need plenty of blood. Okay. So what I'm going to do is to take this pipe here and add it down here. This is where I keep the pipes. One more pipe should be enough. Now that should get, let's shift click that and make sure that that's the input for the blood from the top. that. Don't speak why those saplings aren't getting picked up by the harvester. But sometimes they are and sometimes they're not. So you get quite a lot of apples as well. That's quite another good food source. Is that going down? It should be. It doesn't look like it is. Okay. Hmm. I have to think about why that's not working. It might be because I've moved the altar. Yes, that's probably the reason for it. Let's have a look. I haven't got any ducks with me at the moment, let's get some fluid ducks. Should we got a servo too? I don't think we need the servo, but we do. Oh yes we do, don't we definitely? Maybe that's what the problem is. Pick those up. And I think this is the entrance. Ah, oh, yes, I haven't finished it off, have I? Here is the um, altar. I'm a bit too low down, actually. Let's have a look. Let's put a torch in here, because we don't really want mobs spawning in here, especially creepers. Now, can I reach that? So I'm now directly beneath the altar and I can't. Can I do it for jump up? No. Okay, so what I'm going to have to do to get there is to put some blocks down and I haven't got any dirt with me. Dirt's the best. Let's just pick up some dirt from here. This, this bronze paxel's about worn out. That was five, it'll be plenty. We don't need the bow, I don't think, so let's go up here a bit. Okay, I probably haven't got enough um, 
a liquid duct either. So let's put one up here. I think I can reach now. Nope. Oh, I must be able to reach. Okay, now I could reach. I'd have to do shift on it. So now let's install the, um, the servo, which is done. And now right click this, good. So we simply disable that. So that, that should be coming out. Now we should see blood in here. Should tell me. Oh, I need to turn it on, don't I? To click it in the right direction. Unfortunately, you can't really see it. Maybe we can. There we go, yes. So now it should tell we've got blood in this one. Oh, doesn't seem to have saying. Right, anyway, it doesn't matter. Let's get down and do this. Oh, can't. Actually, now it's showing me I've got life essence in here. So let's bring this life essence from here. Normally need to touch that, that's better. It's like I've got, uh huh. I just need to take this one off here and put that one up there. And I've just got enough, I think. Yes, how about that? So we can come out of here and put another torch up here. It's never it's never night time, so the yellow ones are always. Except for, of course, if it's a nightmare, then they are. Yeah, it's not picking them up. So now we should. This tank is nearly full. And this is now getting blood into it. Excellent. So what I need now is a bucket of of blood to turn into lava. In fact, I need two. Have I got any buckets in there? And I can't see any. So let's make one quickly. Ah. That shouldn't come out. Don't know how that got there. At least I've got a few mobs in it, which is good. And it's actually quite useful having arrows this way. But I can't get a vacuum hopper because that requires an ender pearl and we haven't got ender pearls. So what have we got in the altar now? 6,000. So that should be sufficient. I think it's 3,000 for um, a bucket of blood and another 2,000 for... Yes, I've come back here so I can just see it going through. There we go, there's the blood. Wait a little bit longer and we should get the um, lava. I think that works on a tier two altar. It goes quite quickly. Yes, there we go. In fact, I'll probably only make one fume funnel for the time being. Where's it gone to here? Ah, oh, yes, I need to make glowstone. Oh, but that's okay. So I do need some more buckets. So we need some more iron, which I haven't got in that chest at the moment, but there should be plenty in here. So we needed five, don't we? We'll make a sixth one just for the Next one. Oh, we needed four. Glowstone and oh, and blocks of iron. Hmm. Can I get two blocks of iron out here? Yes, I can. I've got still a reasonable amount of iron in there, so that's not too bad. Let's just check the. Sorry, let's check this. 35 charcoal, and that's also not too bad. And in this one, we have reasonable, still plenty of wood, so things are looking up. Right, back to this fume funnel. 
I should have all I need now, except for the glowstone. Like that. Of course we need those. Four buckets. One bucket of lava, and now we need some glowstone. Now glowstone is made with gold, redstone, and a bucket of blood, I think. It's been a while. Now we need four of those. So what's the recipe for this? In fact, in this cyclic assembly here, I've got some blanks. And I'm definitely going to have to make glowstone this way. There's not going to be any options, so let's have a look. Glowstone. That's what I know the best way to do this, of course, is to come out of here. I oh, know, let's do it like this glowstone. We need glowstone dust. Ah, it's just shape crossing. Ah, that's what I was thinking about. Redstone and gold, dead easy. Okay, so we need eight of those. Fantastic. And I can do that on my own person, but I need some more gold. Another one will be fine. Let's just take the iron out of here. Put the iron back up the top here. So it comes down again. And there's my gold, there's my fourth gold, so now it's just oh, I need to I'm on my personal crafting, don't I? Great. So glowstone block is four in a square. So now I have a fume funnel. The next thing I need to do is to make the witch's altar again. And it is this one. We need to have six of these. So we need the breath of the goddess, a bottle of water, and some rowing wood. Okay, this is going to be a little bit longer, so we need oak saplings, and that will be not such a problem. We've got plenty of those. What is this one here? Birch saplings. Well, that's not too bad either, because we've got plenty of those. Clay jars, we haven't got any at the moment. Let's go and make some of those. And of course this is powered. I can power that by coal, can't I? What did I want clay? That'll make 64. Oh, and have you seen these things over here? If, if, you, if you kill it, you get a... Or try to. Bucket wasn't the best weapon, of course. You get... Where is it now? These things. Subdued spirits. So you're not really killing them, you're just subduing them. So. so now we need to cook these as well. We can let these get cooked. Wow. What else is in here? Okay, plenty of time yet. So let's go and put the witch's altar down, I think. And we can take a stack of charcoal out of here and then it can make some more and you fill down my another another entrance to the mines I haven't planned where I'm going to put this But here isn't such a bad place because we've got all of these plants and flowers. Yes, let's do it here. Let's put the witch's oven down here. I can hear a zombie, but I think that's only from the uh, so now we can put in. Oh, we need the oak jars, of course. Put the charcoal in it to start with. There we go, you see. Actually, I've got a few mobs now. I don't want the packs, I don't want to. Uh, 
what I did originally here is I made that the small one and I got about one mob every hour or something left like that but this one seems to be working a bit better I need to make more conveyor belts that was uh, lucky and I need to eat this is actually I'm eating quite often in this again but I think it's for different reasons so what do we need to do um, oh yes I need to make a new pack so let's show you how I do that because I'm going to be a bit stuck for doing everything I need to do today. So what we need is some copper ingots, which we've got. And some pulverised tin. And I think it's one for one. So let's say we want to make, say, eight of these. A Paxel requires seven bronze. And what you do is you come to the metallurgy confuser and you put pulverized tin in here that gets used up and you get 400 tin and then you put the copper in here and that will then process and produce bronze now the reason I'm using a bronze ingot like this so we'll look at that uses for this you can basically treat it like iron in lots of cases but the one we're actually interested in craft up are that's strange looks a bit weird a survivalist shovel a survivalist pickaxe I've never seen those before actually I must be honest and a wrench well, I got bronze interesting because that's not the rest of the we're going to do well and you can make yourself an armoured jetpack with from this as well that follows of hydrogen that's later on I reckon got five of those it's a bit strange so we need some wood oh, we just we need ordinary wood I think for this we need eight so that will give me eight sticks the sticks at the top like this and then first of all make a pickaxe didn't see this recipe for that did you make an axe and we need one more that's where the seventh one comes from to make the shovel well, that's over there, shovel already got 24 made and then we put these in I think I did this last time actually so it goes axe, pickaxe, shovel and then we get this bronze paxel and the health points for that are actually 1300 so if we have a look for other paxels in here there are a different there are different ones so the original one we, I was using was the Osmian because that has a pretty good health that's 8 attack damage but I was using Osmian sword that had 10 this has got 13 so that's, that's actually more than the bound blade because the bound blade is 12 and the next this is the highest one but well, this is an Osmian pack so that's pretty difficult to make well, I think so because Lapis Luzi and these have got reasonable attack damages and the health points is all the the health points is basically how strong it how quickly it wears out. So as you can see bronze is the second best, I think that's eleven hundred and certainly the best attack damage. Okay. What was I going to do with that? Oh, that went dark from the tree. Well, that's a big tree. Oh, the witch's fun. That's right, I was waiting for the jars. And I've still got to wait a while because the iron still hasn't finished. Let's get rid of those and put the iron back in here to get some jars coming through. And at least we can do something with witchery today. The idea at the end is to make the, the brew of the flowing spirit and I can only do that in the dream world. So let's have a look at the recipe for that. 
through of the flowing spirit. So it's this one. So that's just bash posts and we get three. So we have to do the fanciful thread which requires of course a wispy cotton and a few other ingredients in the spinning wheel in the spinning wheel. Water chokes I've got that already, Mandrake Root I've got that already, Wool of Bat I've got this, Glintweed I haven't yet got and Spanish Moss I haven't either. And I've got a feeling we make those from uh, Mutandis. And of course Mutandis I was making from uh, Mutandis. I was making this one from bone meal, uh, from not like this, but I will probably do it like this. If I've got any cactus, oh, I can make that with flowers and things. Eggs I've got plenty, of bone meal plenty, mandrake roots. I'm, I'm growing in a hint of rebirth is uh, spruce sapling. We've got spruce as well. The other the other recipe for that was in the altar with three thousand LP. I can do that as well, but it makes one. And I think you need about 16 to, to get some glint weed, etc. So, that's it for today. And you'll see what I'm doing. All these saplings can get picked up. Good thing I didn't walk in front of that then. I was going to do that. I was going to do that jar, wasn't I? Let's just get one of some of those. I've got 11. the trees are really noisy so put those in there and some oak saplings in here and with a few the chimneys we have a reasonable chance of getting what we need so we get wood ash straight away I forgot which one it was now there we go exhale of the horned one and I carry on doing that and I will see you next time. Bye for now.